recognize for three minutes for his opening statement. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I appreciate it. And I would like to um, uh, say that I am opposed to all four bills, but want to also talk about the Class Act, H.R. Uh, 1173. I want to um, align myself with remarks made by my Democratic colleagues, Mr. Waxman, Mr. Dingell, uh, and, and Mr. Pallone. Um, you know, once again, my, my, my friends uh, on the other side of the aisle have an assault on, on health care. I don't know why this is. Um, I don't know why we would want to repeal the Class Act um, and not replace it with something that's viable. Um, here we are again today wasting our efforts on ways to eliminate or weaken the Affordable Care Act when our time could be spent in many more productive ways. As, as we discussed in the Health Subcommittee earlier this month, the Class Act establishes an important framework for dealing with the very serious problem senior citizens find themselves in when trying to obtain affordable long-term care insurance. The Class Act established the National Clearinghouse for Long-Term Care, which I believe is a truly innovative step at helping seniors identify real solutions to their long-term care needs. A repeal of, the, of this act without any plan to address what is going to be a continued problem is not only short-sighted, it's downright irresponsible. And now we're told that the answer is private long care insurance by our friends on the other side of the aisle. Um, do we really know if that's the case? I, I say we do not, and the committee should be engaged with HHS to make sure that seniors' long-term care needs will be met through the private market, which so far as I know has not yet proved an affordable option. Uh, I will be proposing an amendment uh, tomorrow which will, will deal with this very problem. So I urge my colleagues to vote no on the repeal of the Class Act so that Congress and HHS can work to build upon an established framework that doesn't leave our nation's seniors behind. And I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your courtesy.